Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely basket of flowers. These are poncetta flowers, but you can change the colour and you could make them look a little bit different. Again, if you don't have any of this, you can use any flowers, but I just think the idea is lovely. And I just think it's a really nice thing to take to someone who's maybe in hospital where you're not allowed to bring fla real flowers. Um, I know we're not in the UK, this is a really nice alternative because you don't need to water it and it's going to last for a very long time but it will certainly brighten up the room so I think that's one way to use it you can also use these all separately you don't have to do a big basket like I've done but I just think it's so sweet and it looks lovely as a centerpiece there's so many ideas that you can do with these they are lovely big flowers you can see they're just the size you get from them so I have done seven in this one, one in the centre and then six around the outside and it's all within this basket here which has this lovely detail panels on the side and there is an oasis in the middle where I've basically everything is attached most of it's glued in, this one's not here but they're all attached on these little sticks here and then you just kind of arrange them as you would flowers it's a, it's a really nice thing to make actually so if you're a florist and um, this you know you like doing flower arranging then I think you'll really enjoy this tutorial so let me show you how I made this okay so first of all I'll talk you through what you need so this is some oasis this is this was like a brick size um, so a little bit was used on the other one some of it has gone into something else and I've got that bit left so I may trim it but that will probably be just right um, to sit inside the basket when we get to that bit so this is very unexpected this stuff is very inexpensive I think this cube I picked up for 99p from Hobby Craft I want to say so again I will but it's, it is the Oasis floral foam okay um, I've got my bow ready there and then I've got one of the flowers to assemble just so you can see how it's done and I'm going to distress one of them as well just so you can see that oh, it doesn't take long at all little bits and pieces there that's all for the basket actually don't need the scoreboard for this which um, as I mentioned in my what did I get this week it's really odd for me to yeah do this kind of thing but it's been really really fun I've loved it that's why I've made it again so I'm using the ultimate Ponsettia die set so this is how it looks and those are two there and then you get them on the back as well so you layer up the four leaves and then you get these fern leaves here as well but I'm going to change it because I just wanted to do something different. So I've actually cut these leaves from my Cricut. But you can use anything. You can cut them freehand as well, just using some green card. So I may well cut some more if I've got some gaps to fill. So I will know that towards the end once we start kind of arranging it all together. So I'm going to be using seven flowers again in this basket. So you will need to cut every one of these seven times okay it doesn't take long to do and you can put a few of them on your plate at the same time and if you've got an A4 plate then you can run all four through at the same time so you've only got to run it through seven times and you've got all of your flowers so this is the hexagon hamper gift box die set so I'll just show you what ones you need to cut so you get 17 pieces in this set which I thought was really good now both of these this one and the Ponsettia will both go through a normal die cutting machine don't need to use an A4 one so you will want to die cut this one once which is for the handle so I've already done that one there then you will need to die cut two of the hexagons the larger one both of them are for the base but I've got the large one there and then that's the next size down they're the only two hexagons in there so you can't go wrong with that so one of those each if you want to reinforce it make it really strong because this is obviously all paper mine's very very light but if you do want to reinforce it then you could use that as a template and draw around it because the cutting line is on the inside so you could draw around that with your grey board and then cut it out with a knife and then you could you know make that much much more stronger to hold heavier sweets and things you know I always say sweets because that's generally what we tend to do but just something really heavy it will hold that if you do and then you'd have to reinforce the handle but you might not choose to do that okay then you want to grab this one and you want to cut it six times and it will give you this shape here and it's all got your score lines there already done so you just fold and burnish and you want to do that six times okay then you will want to cut this one six times on its own so you've got your gold or whatever the, the colour is that you're having now this is optional because you can then just die cut this is what I did again then die cut the two of them together okay because you want it to cut it out to create your detail and that will give you oh, actually I need to do that one so I'm going to do that one here so we'll cut that one in a minute but basically it will give you this effect here 
So I just wanted that mirror cardstock to kind of just poke through. I'm going to distress all this with my um, oxide ink as well. Once the whole thing's put together, I'm then going to distress it. So again, six of those, but we're going to do that one in a moment. Then you have all these extras here to create more shapes and extras. And yeah, there's lots to it. So, but that's all I needed for this one that I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to just quickly distress this, give it a bit of shape, just show you how I've done that. These cut, you can see all the detail that you get there when they cut through. So it's nice to kind of highlight that. So I'm just using, this is just cherry cobbler. I've already got it on my mat there. And I'm just going to load a bit more up there and just kiss the ends there of the leaf and you can go in you know depends obviously what color you're doing your leaves you might be doing them like a white you might be doing multicolored because so i think i'm going to do this like in the i don't know i think i'm going to do it as i've got an idea for something for my craft room as a nice decorative piece for the new year so it'd be nice to show it off and see what else you can do with it. So that's all you need to do there. And then I just grabbed my bone folder or a ruler or anything and just go and just curl all the edges like so. So let me just get rid of all of this. And now I've got my hot glue and I'm just going to stick one over the other. You just want to offset the leaves so it kind of, there we go. You'll see, you don't want to be able to see any of like, I can't see my mat now. So I just sit that there and pop the next one. Again, just make sure it overlaps so you get to see all the leaves. And then this one here. And then using that stamen die, I've just cut these two here. I gave them a little bit of shape on my mat as well, but I'm going to shape this all again while the glue is still warm. Just pop them in there. Grab this again. And then I'm going to use this one actually. And I'm just going to push down with the smaller ball. And just hold it there and kind of lift everything up around. And the glue will kind of set. And everything will be, you know, quite dimensional. Just kind of curl the edges with your finger. Just again to lift it all a bit more like so and now look at that look at it stays in that 3d form and you could go and darken the edges even more if you want to if you look at a, a real leaf a real poncetta leaf the tips are very dark so i've tried to do that and then you could put something you know a bit of bling in the center there if you wanted to but i just think it's absolutely beautiful there is no reason why you couldn't even have that as like a big brooch or something if you're going to a christmas party and you could do so much with it i think it's just brilliant it's such a nice size so now i'm going to attach these to my stick so once you've got that you can do anything with it i think a lovely wreath is another thing that i'm probably going to do with this and actually do an, a big indoor wreath with this i think it's going to look stunning so and it's something you can keep year after year so these certainly will not be getting um, thrown away next i've got these pieces here it's about i don't know one inch by one and a half you'll see in a minute you, it can be you know as long as it covers the these sticks here now these are from trim craft we got given these in one of our design team packages I've used them in a few projects, but they've come in so handy for this one. So I'm just sticking one like that, and I've curved the end. Just stick one on like that, then stick the other one. And whilst the glue's setting, just kind of push it around. Be careful not to burn yourself. Just push it around there, like so. Then open up there, and this now becomes a little kind of platform for us to stick the flower on. So I'm going to pop a bit of glue on each side, and then... Pop that underneath. There we go. Okay. Then I've got these leaves here. And I'm just going to pop a bead of glue. And I just want to have them so they stick out of like where there's a gap. I put three on each. So I'm just going to pop three on this one. And then I think I've got a few left over, which again I can use if I feel there's any gaps. Because I don't want anyone to be able to see the oasis inside. And um, yeah, don't want them exact. So let's pop that one there. Oh yeah, they are my leftover ones. So I've got three left over. But now, so I've got all of mine. And I mean, you don't even have to put them in the basket. This now could go in, you know, anything you want really. You can obviously cut them down, which I think I did. I'll cut these down a little bit 
but look at that it's just absolutely gorgeous the joys of paper honestly i just love it absolutely love this it's right so then you need these pieces now to make our basket so i'm going to stick this one down and then i'm going to die cut that one in a moment but let me just grab my glue so you want to stick anything you want on these again you can just use that and you might want to put some decorative paper you might want to stamp on this but I will add that one in a minute so now all these pieces here we want to connect together so I'm going to run a bead of glue down here again I'm using the Kalau glue because this already these pieces are so stiff it's just yeah just all adds that strength and you want to start working them around like this. You know, that's that one. So I'm just going to go and pop these together. Right, that's the four. That's how it looks. So you just stick that one together there and then you've got the dies for the base in the kit. So it's a really lovely little size there. So I'm sure I'll be doing something with that at some point. So I'm just going to add this last one. Okay, so what I've done with this piece here is I've popped some double-sided tape on it. I actually put a whole sheet across a piece of A4 and then I managed to cut six of these from that piece of A4. So this here, once I peel that off, it, this is going to be nice and sticky. And because it's such an intricate die, it's just easy then. And plus I'm working with the mirrored card, you don't get any, you know, smears on it from you know wet glue and things like that so or liquid glue so I'm just going to lay this down and you just want to make sure that you get the border die perfectly um, lined up around it like so and then I'm just going to run this through my machine okay so I've run that all through I've peeled off the backing and just popped out any other little bits but now you can just stick this right over it's just a lot neater. Like I said, only for the mirrored cardstock. If it's just normal pattern paper under there, I would have just used the glue on the back of my hand kind of thing. So, but there. Isn't that lovely? I love the way it catches the light. So I'm just going to now attach this final one, which will then join the whole thing up. Okay, so that's now all nice and secure. Then we need to add this in. So, I mean, you can add the tabs. You could put this right on the bottom like that and stick it down that way, but I actually done it that way. So I stick them on top and, you know, you can kind of, I don't know, I just found I could see the shape and make sure I got everything kind of straight that way. So all I'm gonna do, pop that out, is I'm gonna pop some glue on all of these tabs here. And this is where you would want to put your grey board in if you want to reinforce this. So, because I'm just having that oasis sit in there, it's, yeah, it's so lightweight. It's like literally air. <laughs> so, I'm just going to hold this in place and just let that all stick down. And then with this one here, I've just popped some glue. And I'm just going to pop it on the back. You could do two of the bigger ones actually. I think I might have stuck this in the inside on the other one, but it just tidies up the bottom there, you can see. So again, just turn that over, make sure that's all nice and secure. Okay, and now the fun bit. So I've got my oasis, which, yeah, that's perfect. I'm not going to add any more. You could fill it up if you are going to be, yeah, making yours even fuller, but it's fine. I'm just going to add some hot glue. I've just put a new stick in, so I need it to catch. There we go, that'll be enough. Turn it upside down, again, just kind of let that all, there's a lot of glue there, so I'm just gonna give that a few minutes to, um, actually I might just pop my water bottle. That's my water bottle with my uh, drink, drink up that I done, that vinyl tutorial. So it sits on my desk, make sure you stay hydrated. So I'm just gonna leave that there a minute so that all sets. Okay, so now it's time to decorate. Now, if you don't do what I'm doing with the flowers, then the handle, you will probably need to, let me just grab that. You will need to attach this now and it will go across like so. 
I think. I haven't done it that way, so I imagine. Yeah, it must just sit in. Yeah, you could probably wedge it actually between these pieces here. But like I said, there's lots of other bits on this here. That's definitely your handle. So, and I know that this here, the handle can slide through these pieces. So, and you can have your From Me To You With Love and things like that on there. So there's lots of different ways, but this is, I'll be doing that later with the sticks. So now I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna pop one in the center. Now I did put a little bit of glue around them once I was happy that they were all in place. Now I've got a feeling I did cut them down, but now I'm just thinking I might just keep them this height. No, I did cut, I, that's it, I kept that one that height, but all of these sticks I did cut down a little bit. Because they're going on an angle, I didn't want them sticking out so much, so i basically done each one on the corners. So have a flower there. I kind of twist them. Again, you want to fill the gaps. I can always reduce that one down if I need to. And then this one here, taking about, if you've got these same sticks, probably about an inch and a half off. Okay, so now you can see just how lovely this is. Now, if you look underneath, you can see in. So I've got a bit of a gap here, so I'm going to add some of those leaves there. And I may well cut a few more of the, the actual fern ones that come with it. But I don't know, I think, yeah, I just need to add maybe a few little bits just to cover a few holes. But then if you move things around, like this, there's one down here and pop that one up there. I'm just going to play around with that. Okay, so now I have got my handle there. I have distressed it with some of the distressed ink. This is the frayed burlap. And then inside I've stuck two more sticks with some glue, hot glue, and I've trimmed them again, taken about an inch and a half off. And then you just want to kind of play around. I'm going to be popping mine right over the main flower and try and keep everything nice and centered. It does disappear inside the flowers. You don't see where you've connected it onto the, the wooden sticks. If I just bring that up now, you can see how lovely that looks. Then if you want to do your little, I guess, little greeting. Now you could just, in the actual set here, you get this one. And there's two there. The lighter green is a dye and then the darker green is a dye. So what I've done is I just die cut the lighter one, but now looking at it, you could die cut both, but just cut off the semicircle and then you've just got a nice like little sign to pop in. So I'm probably going to do that, but you could also put an envelope and um, you could attach it with a little paper clip or a little, um, you know, uh, peg. And then you can pop a little message in there as well. So if you are taking this to somebody who's maybe not well, you're taking it into a hospital, you can pop a nice little card, you know, in that bit there as well if you wanted to. So I'm just going to go ahead and die cut because I'm not sure what colour I want to do yet and whether I'm going to do from me to you or with love. I've done with love before, but I think I might try the from me to you this time. Okay, so here it is finished. So I've added this beautiful fabric bow. It's the last of that fabric, actually, now that I have. I've had this for a long time, so I need to try and find something to replace it because it's just such a lovely thick ribbon. But I've put that lovely big bow on the side, and then there it is, just on its stick. And I've just done it. All the colours that I've used, apart from the white, because I want it to really stand out, but that's the From Me To You. And I think that works really well. So I can't wait to give this to a special lady who I know is going to absolutely love it. And I may well share a picture on my Facebook page of who I've given it to. Some of you might now already guess the way I've said that. But yeah, I'm going to fill in a few gaps with a couple more green leaves. I'm just going to cut them again quickly from my Cricut. Um, but yeah, that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. All the links to everything, as always, will be shared in the description box below and over on my blog. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.